Yo, what up? We This is the new map, Epic Suburbia or Craftwork. We are going to do a flyby and cover all the objectives on the map. Uh, the new frontline map, of course, uh, this is objective A. As you can see, uh, there are some people trying to cap it, but this is a very easily defended um, objective uh, oh by the way if you're here for the first time please remember to subscribe and uh, turn your notifications on especially if you're here for the mod pack and the updates uh, you get a quick notification now again this is alpha easy to defend if you're on the defending side quite difficult to cap this is bravo now bravo is a little bit more 50 50 there are places uh, for both the attacking team and the defense defending team to occupy the cap circle and as you can see, there's some hard cover. You can flank on the side to get side shots for both the attacking team and the defensive team. Uh, a good thing to do is to try to get rid of the flankers uh, before you attempt to defend or attack. There is also a repair station right next to the cap circle at the church and uh, right next to the uh, water or whatever. And uh, let's go to Charlie. Charlie is by far the easiest to capture for the attacking team. You see that little uh, wall right there, uh, just at the edge of the circle, which is uh, sitting under the building. One tank can actually sit out there and cap it on its own. Uh, Charlie normally falls uh, very quickly out of all the uh, out of the first uh, three objectives. Charlie is the quickest to fall and once it's fallen uh, you push through an open field but there's a lot of undulations uh, for you to hull down and attack from and uh, now we are moving on to Delta. Delta of course is um, after Alpha. Uh, after you capture Alpha you go through some railway tracks which uh, provides some hull down positions. Uh, it is a really open open place to be but once you've gone through it then you can push through and uh, attack delta now once again alpha and delta that's on the same line there are it's the most difficult uh, objective to try and capture and take uh, most people go through the uh, so far what i see is on the uh, charlie side charlie foxtrot is the easiest followed by uh, the second one which is uh, bravo echo so what happens here is when when the defending team is busy trying to defend the charlie and the foxtrot uh, a lot of the attacking sides what they do is if they died on charlie and foxtrot they respawn into uh, alpha and delta and what they do is try to uh, ninja cap the uh, alpha and delta which is what's happening now when the defending team is uh, busy occupied on the other side of the map on uh, charlie and foxtrot uh, these attacking guys that have just respawned what they do is they just ninja cap alpha and delta so one thing you need to remember about the new map craft work or epic suburbia whatever they want to call it um, you've got to have uh, you have to apply a lot of your uh, map awareness situational awareness um, if you lose one tank uh, of course you need to manage your uh, tank availability once you die and you respawn in a new tank you need to think about uh, moving on to a completely different flank and do a ninja cap uh, same if you are defending if you are defending uh, you've got to think like an attacker as well if you are being successful uh, defending for example the charlie and foxtrot side and you've killed a lot of these attackers what they're gonna do is respawn into alpha and delta and try to ninja cap you there so just as well you need to um push forward uh, or hit the j button and uh, get yourself killed change your different tank and get into a uh, get into the other side of the map to defend your delta uh delta objective now we are moving on to echo echo objective again uh echo is a 50 50 i feel the center line bravo and echo is a 50 50 chances for either teams uh it's easy to cap once you get into the echo cap because uh, you have uh the huge rock down there to 
to block basically the enemies from uh, pushing into you and uh, we return back to the Charlie Foxtrot again this is the easiest side to um, defend from for the defensive teams uh, it's really good because the attackers need to drive in the open and then get into this castle and you can see the defenders here in the green they can basically push up to the cap circle of the Foxtrot objective and hide behind this building the only way for you to if you're attacking the only way for you to dig them out is to drop a lot of air strikes and um, artillery strikes and then basically push in and yolo and basically you have to give up uh, you have to give up your tank when you try to take the foxtrot objective and uh, you try to overwhelm the uh, defenders in foxtrot you have to lose tanks so you need a lot of um, heavy tanks armored tanks possibly defenders uh, email 1951s but once you've successfully done that and captured foxtrot this is what it looks like a lot of artillery and airstrikes as you can see from the uh, holes in the ground but once you've done that once you've captured Fo foxtrot you need to push through again through the open a lot of defensive hull down positions uh, for the defensive teams uh, if you're in hull down tanks emil 1951s emil ones centurions uh kyana varons um any kind of hull down tanks with with some uh, gun depression is going to be good in those kind of situations and uh, now this is objective 5 the gun turret once it's broken through uh, it is open it is not easy to destroy these turrets here because uh, the defensive teams can still spawn uh, right at the back and basically snipe you out from a distance from a safe distance while you are trying to uh, destroy the uh, 5 objective but of course you are going to attack in numbers if you are attacking and if you are attacking in numbers it's not possible for the uh, defensive team to completely wipe you out now let's take a look at objective four this is turret number four uh, it is heavily protected from the front you can't climb up from the front except from the left side if you are on the attacking side there is a slope here you can climb up and uh, you can approach um, objective number four from um, from Delta or uh, from Echo or Foxtrot, basically from the middle of the map or from the right side of the map. You can approach from both sides, but it's impossible to climb up and attack it from the front. You need to attack it from the side or you can drive around the side of the mountain and basically get into the back of the mountain where there is an opening and you can drive through but of course there's going to be people defending it as well but once you make it through you can get right behind it and shoot the back of the uh, objective number four turret basically which is what exactly these um, wheeled tanks are doing and you're going to see a lot of these um, wheel tanks basically they're going to attack uh, basically they're going to attack one side uh, either the Charlie Foxtrot side once they've broken through then they're going to drive their fast wheeled tanks uh, through um, Charlie Foxtrot and then drive across the map and go to basically turret number one uh, in this particular situation um, look at the map you can see Charlie and Foxtrot has been captured but Alpha and Bravo have been captured but Delta and Echo have not been captured but this wheeled tank has managed to drive himself through from Foxtrot drive in front of turret uh, or objective four three two and then get behind number one and basically uh, just uh, snipe shoot the back of the turret all on his own no one's paying attention to him and uh, this is what's what's wrong or the major issue in uh, front lines um, even in the old map or even in this new map you're going to see uh, the problem it, the, the problem with the um, wheeled tanks um, basically having so much mobility uh, this is turret number two and uh, number three basically uh, those mobile tanks are going to break through one flank and uh, drive behind enemy lines and eliminate the um, objectives behind so basically that is in a nutshell what Craftwork or Epic Suburbia is going to look like in the next episode of Frontlines. Hope you had a little bit of insight and uh, get a little bit of information on what's happening in Frontlines episode 7. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye bye.